again, everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. I put this hat on to take my kids to school because I'm like, nobody will know what's going on under the hat. But I'm pretty sure with everything else hanging out, they have a pretty good idea of what's going on underneath this hat. So, I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Stop to Tim Hortons. Now I'm sitting in my driveway at my house to eat my breakfast before I go inside and take a shower. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm doing. So, this morning... I wake up, right, and I check my email, and I got another, uh, well, my son got another birthday invitation. When I say another, this is the fifth birthday party he's been invited to within a month's time. So I'm just going to be the mom to say it, okay? I'm just going to say it. Like, we, I love that my kid is getting invited to birthday parties and he has friends, and I get it, right? But eventually, do you ever feel like you have to take out a second job so your kids can go to birthday parties? It's like every weekend, and when you have two kids, too, and they're both getting invited to birthday parties, do you feel like you have to take out a second job so that way you, you know, and then, too, it's like, what is, you know, what is acceptable and not acceptable for a birthday party gift, like amount-wise, you know, because by the fifth or sixth birthday, you've had that month, and you've already spent 100 to $150, um, you go and you start checking those clearance aisles, you know, and you're like, okay, what? can I buy you that I looks, you know, that would normally cost like $30, but I'm only paying 10. Okay. I'm just going to say it. I know all of us moms are thinking it. We just don't say it. We don't say it because we don't want to be the mom to say it. You know, and I, I'm going to just keep it real with you and tell you like it can be too much sometimes. So do you ever deny the birthday or do you ever like ignore it? Like you didn't see it. Or do you ever just say, no, I'm sorry, we can't attend. And you make up another reason why. Like, my daughter has this going on or my son has that going on. But you really don't. Like, just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because, honestly, at the end of the day, like, four, five, six birthday parties in one month? Well, hell, I better start working at Tim Hortons. You know? Actually, that would probably be a really bad idea for me. It's a really bad idea. Anyway, so who else has that problem? I know I'm not the only one. Let me just tell you right now. If you are making something up or if you are feeling stressed out or overwhelmed about how many birthday parties and all of the amounts of money and stuff that you have to pay for for these birthday parties, you are not alone. And that's normal. And every mom is thinking it. They're just not saying it out loud. But luckily, I'm that mom that does that. So I hope everybody has a fabulous day. I'll talk to you all super soon. And just check those clearance racks and don't even feel bad about it. Because when you have six birthday parties to go to, what do they expect? Have a fabulous day. Talk to you later.